when we're trying to set up our tank, I always kind of, I really wanted this tank to be up a little bit further. Um, I, re I really wanted that comment pump to go up further, but unless I did a lot of modifications with the plating, there wasn't a whole lot I could do with it. So what I decided to do is, is I'm just going to run these back to back. That way, if you have a surface cleaner, you can put a surface cleaner over there. You can put buckets. You can put buckets here. You can do different things with it. Um, and this way, I don't have a lot of dead space. So the other thing you got to remember, too, is when you're using sodium hypochloride, it's a little bit heavier than water. So sodium hypochloride actually weighs 10 pounds per gallon versus water only weighs 8 pounds per gallon. So if we have a 50-gallon tank, you know, that's... 500 pounds riding on just 50 gallons so i want to try to keep it on the axle but not too far back that we don't have enough tongue weight and i don't want it so much in the front where i got a bunch of tongue weight now if i'm putting this on like a a um on like a flatbed or something like that then i try to push this all the way forward so that way that weight is in the middle of the vehicle um, that way it's going to even it out by the time we start putting stuff on the back. And we just got to remember that it's a lot of weight. You know, if we have 100 gallons, then we're at 1,000 pounds just out of a full tank of sodium hypochloride. So we really need to make sure that, you know, we are not too heavy and that kind of thing for our sodium hypochloride. So the way I, one thing I like to do when I'm, um, when I'm doing this, again, I'll have all the description in a page. But I like using eye hooks, and I like using the ones with the nuts on the bottom versus the ones that just screw in wood, especially if you're going into wood. Um, just so that way, you know, that wood rots, that kind of thing, it's less likely for it to come out. So the way I hook these up is, is I actually, I, I run one nut all the way up, and then I put me a flat washer in. This is going to go right down into the wood. I use a big fender washer, um, that way it, it's not just push it, it's less likely to pull through the wood so this will be on the bottom and then i use a lock washer and then i just use a 3 8 nut on the bottom now if you want to you can either do it this way with the lock nut or you can take a double nut and that way you don't ever have to worry about this coming undone so i'm going to put four of these into the wood and then i will use a um now another way you can do this is if you get the bands that actually go over these tanks if you do that make sure you don't get the metal ones especially on the sodium hypochloride ones because if you use the metal ones they will rust they look like crap and they will break eventually um, so make sure you get the stainless ones if you are going to do the bands over i usually just do um, um, the ratchet straps and then, uh, you know, just ratchet strap it on there and, and we're ready to go and it won't go nowhere. Um, a couple other things to be really worried about if it's going somewhere, we can put little blocks on the sides and front. But usually if you do the, the, the hooks on each side, kind of keep them tight to the tank, put a block on the front or back, it ain't going nowhere. Now with this tank here, it's only going to go forward because that usually when you slam on the brakes, when it's going, usually you're not going to take off real fast and it's going to try to go out the back. So we want to make sure that we are good there and not um, getting too far. Um, so that way it don't, that way it don't really, um, it's not going to, like here, it's not going to move because it's right up against the water tank. Um, so again, when we're drilling our holes, we want to make sure we're not drilling down right through the, the cross member of a trailer or something like that. We need, might need to move it one way or the other. Um, might need to move our, our eye hook one way or the other. This one here has big, spot so you know i can move forward or backwards um quite a bit um with that so that is how i mount these tanks um it works really well it does it, it holds very well and this way i know that it ain't going nowhere once you start getting fluid in these and you get a little bit of bleach in there and it, most of the time they're not going to go nowhere anyway um, because they're going to have hoses hooked to them and zip tied and everything but they can move, and if they start moving too much, it can break your fittings and stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you kind of how to mount these tanks. Um, this is a 50-gallon, no bulkhead tank. You don't have a bulkhead in the side. So I don't have to worry about this tank um, leaking out the bottom or something, you know, something break, something fall down and hit my bunghole down at the bottom and break it off. Now I got 50 gallons of bleach going down the drain, you know, 
oh crap, what am I going to do? So, you know, it just makes it nice to keep it the way it is. So that's, um, that is just how we do it. And like I say, we use the ratchet strap to make that work.